I don't think anybody's doing the type of sound that I have. So I just wanted, wanted to be heard. That's really the motivation. Hi. 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 It's me. I'm all about having people escape their problems. If you listen to people that like at open mics, they be talking about their problems. It's like smoking weed, you know what I'm saying? People don't want to hear your problems, <laughs> you feel me? They want to escape from there. That's the type of sound that I have, I believe. It's like a electro hip hop dance craziness. So when it comes to the subject matter, it honestly, it just depends on what I'm feeling. Well, huh, hold on. As of recently, I've been really going back to uh, being a mentor, motivating, like that's kind of been the message. A lot, of, a lot of bad stuff has been happening earlier this year and I was able to get through that. I just gotta show other people that they can do that as well, like with me rapping. I got it, I'm rhyming about a lot of nada, but I got you bobbing and bobbing because the beat is lava. I'm a nerd. I was in the Marines and I did uh, networking computers and networking. I'm sticking to that. I'm pretty good at it. I brought my laptop over to Afghanistan and I ordered a, a mic on eBay and I made a song actually over there. I produced something on Fruity Loops and I recorded to it. I met Law over a slight argument over ramen noodles actually. Law's son's mother was like one of my best friends in high school. Little baby Law, before he came, I used to just be the guy who would come over her house and just jack all of her ramen noodles and bail. And Law, one day, he's like, who is this dude in your refrigerator? And then, like, I guess we introduced ourselves, and he was like, I rap, and I was like, I rap too. And we kind of meshed well because he was a lot of fun and exciting. I was really like down in the dumps and depressed back then. I am in a class with all these haters. They are getting mad because I started getting paper. No time for these papers. My rap style is kind of, it's kind of weird. It's like, I'm pretty sure I'm undiagnosed bipolar syndrome or some shit. So, oh, am I supposed to be keeping this? My style changes up probably about as much as my mood does. Yeah, that's a fast break, and I break fast. I ate some eggs in the last day. Right. I ate a sausage with a little bit of bacon on it, but I don't fuck with pigs. Sorry, cops, but I be making all I do with this Durham Hip Hop Summit. Same thing with, with Professor Toon. It's a, it's an annual deal, and, and it's not a showcase. It's people that actually have been working hard on their craft and have gotten, uh, gotten fans. There was like a negative, uh, aura around Durham hip hop with like maybe knucklehead incidents happening, but now the news covers the Durham hip hop summit and nothing happens on that day. Like Durham hip hop summit is a crime stopper now. I mean, I, I love Durham because one, I've been here forever, been, but two, it's just what Durham is, what ha what it's become. Durham is starting to be that that hub for for artists. And I think it's kind of like. Uh, a situation where it's like a star player who doesn't know he's nice yet. Durham's got like superstar talent, uh, but it's, it's to the point where it's like, I don't know I can hit this shot consistently yet. It's, it's your time, like, it's, it's, it's your ball, balls in your court. So make some songs. <laughs> I've been gone in a vision out the window. I'm outside, trip tripping on that endo. I flow like a minstrel on any instrumental. Ego, bigger than the chin on Jay Leno. Damn it, it's been a long night. Record deals, tons of pills, funding wildlife. Recovered from jaw surgery, doing shows at every venue that's ever heard of me. Forward. I'm talking about what they can't ignore. New coupe, I'm slamming doors, but none of that hood's a damn accord. I'm just trying to make the music that they can't ignore. And maybe drop a couple panty drawers. And maybe get a couple fan support. But ultimately have my son proud to be daddy's boy. I make that music that you can't ignore. And maybe drop a couple panty drawers. And maybe get a couple fans support. I just want my son proud to be daddy's boy.